dividing fractions mini lesson. So you're going to be asked to do several different things in this lesson. You're going to copy this in your notebook and work these problems out. The first one says to create a visual model to solve. Susan has two-thirds of an hour left to make cards. It takes her about one-sixth of an hour to make each card. About how many can she make? So we're trying to figure out how many cards she can make. So here is one-third of an hour, and here is another third of an hour. So that represents two-thirds of the hour. And we're being asked to divide two-thirds by one-sixth. So that question means how many one-sixth pieces are there in two-thirds? So if I divide this bar up into six sections, I have one, two, three, four out of those six sections. So she can make four cards. So you'll recall that to divide two fractions, you find the common denominator and then divide the numerators. So adding, subtracting, and dividing, you find a common denominator. So here we go. Two-thirds divided by one-half. So I think about the number three and its multiples, and the number two and its multiples. The least common multiple is six. That means that my common denominator for thirds and halves is going to be six. So two-thirds is equivalent to four-sixths and one-half is equivalent to three-sixths. So I set my problem up. Four-sixths divided by three-sixths equals four-thirds. That is my answer. Two-thirds divided by one-half is equal to four-thirds. The next question, six, and remember the denominator of all whole numbers is one, divided by two-thirds. Common denominator for one and three, of course, is going to be three. So six-firsts is equal to 18-thirds. So it's 18-thirds divided by two-thirds, which is 18 halves which 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 6 divided by 2 thirds. So the question we're asking is how many groups of 2 thirds are there in 6? There are 9 groups of 2 thirds. And the last one, 5 6 divided by 4 firsts. Common denominator is going to be 6. So it's 24 6. So it's 5 6 divided by 24. 6, your answer is 5 24 Please make sure when you're doing these kinds of problems that you write your numbers in order. You have to keep them in the same order or your answer would be wrong. Next question. Let's say you have 20 cookies and you are going to divide them evenly among you and four others. That means you are sharing these cookies between five people. How many cookies do you each get? How did you figure it out? So I'm going to take the 20 and divide it by 5 because it's me and four other people. And 20 divided by 5, of course, is 4. So how many cookies do we each get? 4. Next question, there is 2 thirds of a cake. We're going to divide it evenly between you and four others. So five people. So 2 thirds of a cake divided between five people. Once again, common denominator, so I'm going to use three. So this in thirds is times three, times three, so it's 15. So it's two thirds divided by 15 thirds equals two fifteenths. So each of us will get two fifteenths of a piece of cake. Finally, a recipe calls for three-fourths of a cup of sugar. You have a measuring cup that holds one-third of a cup. How many times do you need to fill the measuring cup to make the full recipe? So we're going to do three-fourths divided by one-third. So I need to think four, eight, twelve, three, six, nine, twelve. 
12. There's my common denominator. So this is going to be times 3 times 3, so it's 9 twelfths. This is going to be times 4 times 4, 4 twelfths. So 9 twelfths divided by 4 twelfths equals 9 fourths. So I would have to fill that measuring cup 2 and 1 fourth times in order to make sure if I only had the 1 third cup measure to make my recipe.